All right, in this video, we're going to be palpating the middle trapezius. So middle trapezius is originating on the spinous process of thoracic vertebrae 1 towards 5. And I'm just guesstimating right now, but we're actually going to go through our palpation. So what I'm going to be looking for to start is where the cervical prominence, which is also known as the spinous process of cervical vertebrae number 7. So I'm palpating for one of the more obvious one or two vertebrae in the back of the neck here in the upper back. I believe I've found cervical seven. So I'm gonna place one finger pad on thoracic one spinous process and one on cervical seven. And I'm just gonna gently rotate my partner's head in the cradle. And again, I'm feeling more movement coming out of the index finger, indicating that this is most likely cervical seven and this is thoracic one. So from here, I'm going to count down towards spinous process of thoracic five. So one, two, three, four, and five. So this is the origin on the lateral aspect or side of the spinous process of thoracic one to five. And our fiber direction is gonna be running lateral and slightly superior. So I'm gonna try almost leave a little bit of a red mark on our body here just to make it a little bit easier for us to follow. So our fiber direction runs this way. And as it heads towards the scapula, it starts attaching here along the spine. So it attaches all along the spine of the scapula and finally to the acromion process. Our upper attachments will go all the way out towards the acromion and our lower attachments are the ones that are mainly going into more of the spine of the scapula. So I'm giving you an approximate of what it might look like. So now we're gonna activate this muscle and it. So I'm coming over to the side. I'm just going to be bringing his arm off the table. And what that's actually doing is bringing the scapula a little bit more into an upward rotated position. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to have is bring his arm out at the side and I'm going to have him externally rotate this humerus and that change the position of his scapula a little bit. So I'll do that once or twice to make sure you guys can see that. So this is more of a relaxed position. And as we get into that external rotation, the scapula does a little bit more upward rotation to allow for it. So what we like to say is that the thumb is facing up towards the ceiling. So he's gonna hold his whole upper extremity up off the table for me. And what you can see right in this area is this is upper trapezius that I'm kind of covering with my thumb and my hand, but right in here is the middle trapezius. So my partner is just going up and down with his arm a little bit, and so you should be able to see that. Now let's have him drop his arm to the table, and now he's gonna lift that up nice and slow on his own. There we go, and you can see those fibers moving. So right in here is the middle trapezius. Its primary action is not on the humerus itself, but it's actually bringing the scapula towards the vertebrae, which is known as retraction. So upper trapezius, as well as middle and lower, all act slightly to do with upward rotation, but the primary action of our middle trapezius here is just retraction of the scapula thoracic joint. Excellent. So that's going to conclude our palpation of the middle traps.